Why, hello there, Phibians and Amphibians alike. Uh, Sean's Nelson here from Pen hey, and hey, Blade. Hey, 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 hey. And in this episode of... Uh, oh, it's, oh I, I'm supposed to be working on car Cartography class. But, uh... It, it'll be... It'll be coming soon. Right now, I want to tell you about this right here. Gotta tell you about this right here. You know what that is? That one? It's called the Breakthrough Toad. And I'm gonna teach you how to have your own Breakthrough Toad in this episode of Sketch. Sketch. Oh, oh, Rama. 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 All right, let's get down to business. And I think the first elephant in the room is that this frog is not a toad. All right, and I'm, this is very deliberate. This breakthrough toad right here is is just an example. Because your breakthrough toad could be a dog or a chair or a raccoon, perhaps. And so I don't want you to get caught up in the frog. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw, this is the second time I've drawn this, and I'm gonna show you just drawing it, how I kinda will draw it and what I'm thinking. So I'm kind of seeing how this bottom lip part right here overlaps like that. <clears throat> and one thing I've noticed is that when I'm thinking about what I'm drawing, and I'm not like thinking about something else, a lot of times that's going to be very beneficial. But also, Sometimes it's good not to think too much. So it's a balancing act. I think you got to try a bunch of different things, which brings me up to a video that I wanted to mention. Not a video that I made, but it's called, it's about the five drawing types. I'll put it up on the screen now, but it's like the five stages of drawing, I think it is. And it was very enlightening and really inspired me to feel good about the drawing process. So I would definitely check and recommend you check that out. But for now, so right now I'm looking at this and I'm like, oh, that's kind of like a human forearm. I'm noticing that, right? Let's see this one. And right now I'm just drawing what I'm seeing. And I'm also noticing that this is like one big old shape. So I'm gonna try to kind of get that. And don't worry, I'm gonna get to what my breakthrough was in a moment because it has to do with the legs. I'm drawing with the pen because a lot of times lately I've been drawing with pen, which is forcing me to commit. Ethan Becker um, is another channel that I really strongly recommend. Actually, you know what? I have a digital painting essentials um, playlist that I made. And so I will link, <clears throat> I mean, you, you should just check it out in the channel page. I'll put that at the end of the video. And it's also, it's like art essentials really, but it's public. And so here, this is the part that I'm like, boom, look at that. Look what I just did with that leg. And then I was like, so when I was doing this and then I saw this part right here and I was like, oh, it's in front. Okay. And then this goes like that. No. And then there's the leg behind. And that reminded me of like Spider-Man poses that you always see something like this like that right and then I was like what I can draw legs and even in foreshortened perspective that's pretty much the breakthrough I had so I show you like if you so using this technique of like just kind of being like oh this and then the third one see with their leg it goes like this right but like the breakthrough was that thinking of it like, oh, that's pretty much human legs, but different. So when I think of human legs, like one step detached from them, I can now draw. And I saw that actually, well, as I draw diff I drew, was drawing a bunch of different frogs. So there was a little, maybe there was a buildup. It wasn't just this one, but this is the one where I was like, oh, wait a minute. Can I just do this for human legs? And so the thing to do is to just, yeah, I can do that. And then I know that this one's going to go here and there's like a space. Now I just started drawing all sorts of really abstracted legs in any position. So I could even have this one going up and this one like that with the foot, right? 
And then I was like, wait, oh, the arm is the same. So now I'm like, let me draw some foreshortened or whatever arms, you know? Or no, first I started drawing the same thing with the collapsed arms. Where I was like, oh, I could draw arms like this. With the hands going like that. Right? And then give them some shoulders. And then... Whatever. And I was just like, whoa, I can do anything with the body now. The power is mine. I should put this here in case it's getting cut off. But I don't want to lose Breakthrough Toad because, hey, he's Breakthrough Toad. So I think maybe I'll wrap it up with that. But what I wanted to say is, okay, I didn't even explain. What is a Breakthrough Toad as I keep drawing some more legs in different ways? Um, a Breakthrough Toad means you got to go find, draw something that you're not used to drawing. Like, I wasn't drawing any frogs from, and do it from reference. So go, and it doesn't have to necessarily be photo reference, I would say. I think you can also do, um, what's it called? You could do reference of other artists you like, but you've got to see something new and different than what you're used to seeing, is the main idea. So, and then just study it and look at what it is. And you don't have to be looking for a certain breakthrough, but if you draw something different than what you're used to drawing, I feel like you're going to make connections. Your brain's going to do that. And you're going to have your own breakthrough toad. And when you t and, and then when you have your breakthrough toad, you're going to let me know what it is in the comments. And, it, and it's, it's going to be cool. And that's it. I feel like that's it. So, um, you know, if I think of something else, we could do a part two to this. We're going to end on the worst sketch. And that's it. Peace, God bless, and stay fantastic, everyone. Oh, snap. I put too much sketch in my O-Rama this time. Yikes!